But that's all leave. <laughs> As, does anyone wants to eat? For this recipe, I'll be using potato leaf. Yes, I'll be using potato leaf. This potato leaf is already washed and I put it in this sieve so it can drain water. I'll also be using cow skin. Yes, I'll be using scotch bonnet. In this plate, I have pounded scotch bonnet and um, crayfish. Then this is um, bell pepper, both bread and yellow bell pepper. It's already dried, so I brought it out of the freezer. And this is um, dry shrimps. I have dry shrimps here. I'll be using these two onion. I'll be using um, these two cube. I will use one for the meat. And if I need to add another one, I will use it. But if it's not necessary, I won't. That is when I test for it. Then in here, I have my dry fish, my smoked fish. This is dry fish, dry catfish, smoked fish. And I also have my okuroko, which is um stockfish. Yes. I'll also be using this red oil for it. Then, of course, salt to taste. So let's get started, fam. Um, I'll be adding cubes. Meanwhile, I'm using goat meat for this recipe. You can see that. Salt. I'll be adding just this little um dry pepper, yes. So you cover the pot. You allow the meat to cook till the meat is tender. So from to the pot, I've added my red oil. To the pot, I'll be adding onion. So now I'll be adding some bell pepper. adding all those things you stir then you cover the pot and allow it to cook for some time before we get back to it so from now I'll be adding the crayfish and the, the blended scotch bonnets you don't have to let the tomato cook too much just a little boy for me because I already steamed the tomatoes, so that's what I'm saying. But if it's fresh tomatoes, if it's fresh uh, bell pepper, then you can cook it till it's done. But this one I already steamed it for a long time. It's just in my freezer, just to make my cooking my cooking easy for me. And I'll be adding the cow skin. And the dry shrimps. This is just a very easy thing to like the easiest vegetable I've seen each time I just want to eat something different from what we have in the fridge as a soup this is just what I just prepared for the family and we'll just eat it immediately and that's all fam I'll be adding the <laughs> should I say orish rishi if you understand Yoruba yes the dry fish smoked fish and the smoked uh, smoked fish dry fish and stock fish It lower my gas so it will cook on a low heat at least for like low heat for like um three to four minutes and we'll get back to it. That the sauce is totally cooked, so I'll be adding the stock from the meat. After adding the stock for the meat, I I added just a little water to loosen the sauce up, and I'll be testing for salt. okay so i won't be needing the second maggi because the sauce and everything blended very well yes the maggi and the sauce that i use in cooking the in cooking the meat is okay introducing the meat back to the pot this meat is already well cooked like i don't even want to cook at all again so i'll be adding the vegetable immediately because this soup is done i'll be adding the vegetable to the pot
farm. Can you see that goodness? Junction of vegetable is ready. You can see our potato vegetable. Potato leaf. <laughs> Does anyone want to eat? Do you want to taste some? This is so yummy, honestly. I can bet it with you that camera is not doing justice to this particular soup. This soup looks so yummy. So thank you very much if you watch up to this time. I just hope you try this recipe. I know I'm not so perfect and I'm trying to introduce my recipe, but all the same. Thank you very much. I love you. Please don't make today your last. Keep checking on me. I love you so much. I remain your humble girl, Mabel Okafor. I sign out.